Hello everybody, put your headphones on and turn the lights off, because we're back playing Minecraft. Now, since I really didn't have anything to post today, uh, I just wanted to go over this invention that I've been working on for the past week and a half now. Uh, it's almost done. It's in prototype phasing right now, and I'll show you what I still need to do. But, here it is. Oop. The automatic brewing machine. Now... This is no ordinary automatic brewing machine. Even though you've probably never seen as many automatic brewing machines as I have, this isn't like the ones that I've seen. So, features. On and off switch. On, off. So this side can be completely controlled by one switch. So if this switch is off, it won't dispense potions. If this is on, it will. Each side is individually controlled. Uh, these two torches, really just for looks, well, no, they're, they're not for looks, but, uh, I could get these out of the way, but this, this wall was kind of barren without it, so what these two do is they go, you know, I'll, I'll start from the beginning, over here, <clears throat> now, keep in mind that I'm not exactly a redstone expert, I know what I'm doing, but I don't, like, have different circuit layouts or anything like that. I don't I'm not a hardcore redstoner, I just put stuff together and say and see if it works. So here's where we start off. Hopper timer. Now hopper timers literally are what they mean. They're hopper timers. So the items will flow back and forth between hoppers and when it fills into this chest it moves over and it goes back and forth, back and forth infinitely until you turn it off. So see, there's one one item in there right now. It's going really fast. Put that there. I still need to figure out the timings for this. This is this is one of the few things that I still have left to prototype. Now, what happens now? So these are pulse limiters. What these do is they allow a pulse for a short period of time, no matter how long the power is delivered to this block here. So I've set up one over here for this side so this side has a comparator clock which means up this is the torch input it goes into the comparator it goes around to this and that's supposed to be like that and when it's like this it creates a nice little loop of redstone nice little clock pulses pretty good so Here's what needs to be done. So when the potions are dispensed, I don't have, no, well, I do. There we go. So when the potions are dispensed into that, I need to turn this off, to the dispenser, it goes into that, and then, so, okay. <laughs> I am not doing a very good job at explaining this. So first off, this this line activates goes all the way down here now when it when this gets powered this torch turns on which activates this repeater and goes into this line of redstone now what this line of redstone does it goes into this repeater goes over there and into here now this is where the on and off switch is so if i were let's see it's on right now if I were to turn this off, that piston retracts and it won't be able to get to this repeater, which will activate this line. This torch line right here, which activates the dispensers, well not dispensers, but uh, chests up here. I am really good as... Ah, I sneezed. Alright. We're good now. So it activates. Ah, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no good at tutorials. I didn't. I didn't know why I'd be any good at this. This piston pushes in, which will allow this line to be powered. Go to this repeater, and power this torch, which goes all the way up to the top and dispenses one ingredient. Uh, I'm not going to go in too depth, 
But what it is, is a, uh, what is it called, what is it called, what is it called, um, monostable, that's what it is. Monostable circuit, which just allows for a quick one pulse. Here, I'll set one up right now. Boop. And, I don't have any redstone. No, come back, okay. Uh, I had redstone? feel stupid. So, there has to be a repeater on this side, and then dust going into it on this side. Then when you power it, it allows for a quick pulse, and you can shorten or lengthen the time of the repeater, depending on how long you want to pulse. More time equals more. More delay on the repeater means more time. Ah, there's so much to cover on this thing. Ah, I'm, I, I'm getting lost, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. So, inner workings. Inner workings right here. So when this repeater gets powered, it goes to this, which allows for a short time to get rid of all of the, the bottles that are in here. And then... <laughs> God dang it. I'm so dare about this. So, when this line gets activated, it activates all of these, which allows for all of these torches to be turned off for a short period of time and let the bottles flow into the dispenser. So, when the bottle are put into the dispensers, this line activates, which is this right here, which is activated. Once this is completed, it activates this line under here, which goes around and activates this. Now this is connected to the comparator clock. The comparator clock uh, runs for a short time, which I'll show you right here, and will dispense all three bottles. All three bottles are dispensed and put directly into the brewing stand. Here, I'll, I'll do that. Too. I'll do that too. So there we go. Put the bottles back in the bottom like they were just put into the dispenser. Wait for that time, and and they're all put directly into the ruling stand. All three of them. And then they just go down the line until they get to the end, which they are put into chests here. Now if you're wondering why I can open these, there's only stairs above them. They're not actually full blocks. So that's all the inner workings, the important workings. Now the optional workings that I did... Personally, th this is this is all my design actually. None of it was looked up. As you, if if it was looked up, it would probably be a lot neater than this. <laughs> Just letting you know. All right. So what each of these lights do is they are all indicator lights, and they tell me whether or not there are ingredients in the in the uh, in the slot. So. Nether wart. If I take the nether wart out, light turns off, tells me there's no nether wart. Put the nether wart back in. Light turns back on, there's nether wart. This is the primary ingredient, so it could be like sugar, or blaze powder, or anything that you use to make a potion. Go down here, lights off. Lights on. Now this side isn't done yet, but I think I've pretty much gotten it down on this side. So, the unique thing about these ones are that... Oh crap, I forget which goes where. I know it needs to go into them. So, glowstone. Uh, redstone. Fermented spider eye. And gunpowder. There we go. So I forget which word, which goes where. Eh, whatever. So gunpowder, fermented spider eye. It has to go like this, or else it won't work properly. Redstone or glowstone. Like this, this can be glowstone and this can be redstone. What? Okay, so apparently that was redstone. 
ghost over there. And these two have to be either... So that fermented spider eyes can be in here. And gunpowder can be in here. It doesn't matter. And... Yeah, so with that... Uh, it detects whether or not you have ingredients on either one. So right now... I think this is... Yeah, this is, this is detecting redstone right now. So if I go ahead... Take the redstone out. Light turns off, but if so, this light goes for this light, and then this one goes for this one. And if I turn it on to detect glowstone, it turns on and tells you that there's glowstone. If I take the glowstone out, goes it's it goes out. And if I put the redstone back in, it stays out because it's still detecting for glowstone. If I turn the redstone back on, it goes on because it tells me that there's redstone in there. So this, this, this little thing right here, this took me the most time out of anything. It was ridiculous how long this thing took. This literally took me three days to come up with. It looks so simple, but it's not. It's terrible. Uh, same goes for this lever. So it's detecting for, I don't know what it's detecting for right now, gunpowder? Nope, it was detecting for fermented spider eyes. Take those out. Light turns off. Switch it to gunpowder. Light turns on. Uh, put the fermented spider eyes back in. Works like a charm. <laughs> now, the last thing that is here is the detection system on water bottles. So if there are no water bottles on here, it's obviously not going to function, so I've got to turn it off. So how I've got that set up is... Oh, also, by the way, this light right here detects whether or not there's water bottles, so that I don't just go around guessing. <laughs> I wanted to have this light detect for chest. If, if there's anything in the chest, this will be lit up. Couldn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> so that's the that's thing. So, water bottles. When there's water bottles available, this light will be on. When there's not, this line will be deactivated, which will go down this line, all the way over to here, which is connected to the on-off switch, which is this right here, under that glowstone. So right now it's off, which is like it should be. So when there is no water bottles, this will be off, which means this will be on, and that will be, that will be, it doesn't work when this is already off, so, even if I turn it on, I won't be able to turn it on because there's no water bottles. Well, there is water bottles, but I just made it so that there wasn't, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this. So yeah, when I put the water bottle back in, we're all good to go. And it will go until it won't dispense anymore now the one thing two, the two things that I still need to do one develop the times for this and two make a timer so that it doesn't run forever because I might go AFK for a while and it might be running I don't want this clock to be running and lagging out my world even though this this itself lags out lags quite a bit uh, one more thing, I think. Did I? Yeah, I forgot this. So, you can completely turn off the gunpowder and the fermented spider eyes if you don't want splash potions or... Or, uh... Reversed effects. Yeah, that's what it's called. Flip that switch. Turns it off. So, what that means to this... So... Two things happen. This torch turns off, which means that they'll just flow right through the through to the chest. And two, if we follow this torch tower up, it locks this on so that it won't be able to dispense more more items if it wants to. It locks both of them via repeater and dust on both sides. Pretty symmetrical. I'm I'm proud of that. 
Alright. And that's 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 what's gonna be going into my world. About eight of them I think I counted. Right? How many potions are there? Regeneration Swiftness two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'll I'll, I'll count them later so five five or six so that is what's going to be going into the world with once I get all the materials as you can see this is pretty resource heavy uh, I have enough iron no doubt that I have enough iron I still have I think I still have a stack of iron blocks from my last trip. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope to get fear in tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just said that twice. I'm sorry. I, I am doing terrible. And these will fit into interlocking places. So this goes out one block. It'll go out three blocks, so this will be one block away from the redstone on the other side. It's going to work perfectly. Don't worry. Trust me, guys. I got this. And this is what it's going to look like on the roof, in the potion refilling room, which is going to be the, uh, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> uh, I know where it's going to be. I just don't know how to describe it. So, that's it for me today guys thanks for watching hope that didn't confuse you too much cuz no that's not what I aim for I don't aim to confuse you some of this is confusing to me I know I know I'm not the best explainer in the world uh, I'm not a redstone expert I don't know how to explain this stuff purely and clearly I tried I tried to be as simple as possible uh, th all this is to make sure that it would fit into inside the barriers, which it does, which is really good. Really high, really high expectations? No. Really high thing. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, everything you know is a lie, and I will see you next time.